now is the time for all good girls to come to the aid of the boss. The boss is in a quandary. The boss is at a loss. If I can land this prospect, girls, it may mean a contract for life. To whom is the letter going? To my prospective wife. My dear prospective wife. No, no. My dear prospective sweetie, as I reply to yours of recent date, <laughs> you sound as though you're drawing up a statistician's treaty. Suppose I help you out as you dictate? You're just too marvelous. You're just too marvelous. Too marvelous for words. Too like marvelous for words. Like glorious. Like glorious. And uh, glamorous. Glamorous. And, uh, and that old standby amorous. It's all too wonderful. It's all too wonderful. I'll never find the words that... You'll never that, find the words... That say enough. That say enough. Or tell enough. Tell enough. I mean they just aren't swell enough. You mean they just aren't swell enough. You're much too You're much. You're much too much. And just too very, very. And just too very, very. To ever be. <coughs> to ever be. To ever be. In Webster's Dictionary. And so I'm borrowing a love song. And so you're borrowing a love song. From the birds. From the birds. To tell you that you're marvelous. To tell you that you're marvelous. Too marvelous. Too marvelous. For words. For words. May I express just one P.S. You're just too marvelous. Too marvelous for words. Like rapturous, fabulous. Your voice is tintinabulous. It's all too wonderful and ordinary words. Like magical, mystical. Seem just too apathistical. The sweetest words in Keats or Shelley's lyrics aren't sweet enough. This will kill you to be your panegyric. And so you're borrowing a love song from, from the birds to tell you that you're marvelous, to marvelous forward. Please send it off without delay. She's got to get it right away. I know they're very poor words. Perhaps you'd like these better. Adorable and amorous and glorious and glamorous are insufficient when applied to you. To be euphemistical, to be eulogistical, I have to originate a million words that no one ever knew. I try to be logical and sensible, but I'm incomprehensible whenever I begin to find a phrase. For they never say enough, and they never tell enough. I've already told you no vocabulary swell enough. What'll I do to say the things I have in mind? It's really absurd there isn't a word to fit you. No matter where I look, I only seem to find delectable, delirious, magnificently mysterious. You're simply too spectacular to be in my vernacular. And so, you see, I'm forced to go to the birds. The reason must be quite apparent that you are just too utterly, utterly wonderful and marvelous for words. I don't know what he's driving at, but I'll just have to answer that. You're just too marvelous. I don't know any words, but...
I'm writing this to tell you I was wrong. I think you're just colossal. You've made this whole thing possible. You thought she threw you down. And this will kill you. He gave her the air. And you did it very well. But you came through like Frank Merriwell. In spite of all our acting and pretending, now boy meets girl, and there's a happy ending. And so he borrowing a love song from the bird to tell.